Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing a quick speed test comparison of two powerful devices in the 30 to 35,000 price segment. We have the newly launched OnePlus Nord 5 and we also have the Poco F7. So these are two really powerful devices with a great hardware offered. We have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 series chip on both the devices. So let's see which of these performs uh, uh, better and which has better memory management and also the uh, synthetic benchmark scores. So let's just go to the about device on both the phones so let's take about device so you can see here uh, Oxygen OS 15 uh, here we have Snapdragon 8s Gen 3 this is a slightly older chip uh, last year's chip we have a uh, 12 gigabyte RAM 6800 milliampere battery and Android 15 on the other hand we have uh, Hyper OS 2.0 on uh, uh, the Poco F7 we have the latest Snapdragon 8s Gen 4 mobile platform Android 15 out of the box and 12 gigabyte RAM now this is UFS 3.1 while uh, Poco F7 is UFS 4.1 so that's one of the major differences differentiating aspect so let's just clear off all the background apps on both the devices let's also check the network connection so we have turned on the airplane mode uh, we have connected to the same Wi-Fi network let's also clear the background apps so let's start the speed test comparison so we just cleared off all the background apps let's start with asphalt unite so let's see which opens uh, these uh, apps faster So OnePlus has taken a marginal lead for Asphalt Unite. Next is uh, BGMI. Let's see which opens BGMI faster. Now we have the balance, uh, performance mode enabled on both the devices. Here Poco has taken the lead in terms of BGMI and Poco opens it faster. So games one each, uh, Asphalt Unite was slightly faster on Nord while BGMI was faster on uh, Poco F7. Now Play Store, again Poco was slightly faster. Chrome browser, again uh, Poco was faster. Facebook, uh, almost same time I would say. Twitter, again almost same time, not, not a major difference. Here you can see that Poco, uh, uh, OnePlus is faster. Spotify, again uh, OnePlus is slightly faster. Amazon, uh, Poco is faster. Flipkart, uh, since we got the screen, we'll just skip that. File Manager, uh, OnePlus is obviously faster. Poco's File Manager takes a lot of time. Settings, again, uh, OnePlus is faster. YouTube, uh, Poco is faster. Gmail, again, uh, Poco is faster. Camera, OnePlus is slightly faster. Maps, so Poco is faster. So Poco did have an advantage with respect to the Snapdragon 8s Gen 4 while this is 8s Gen 3, UFS 3.1 versus UFS 4.1. So that obviously will have a difference. So that's the performance of apps. Uh, so we could say that probably uh, Poco did have an advantage but not by a huge margin. Next let's see the memory management. Now both the devices have 12 gigabyte RAM. So let's see which of uh, the apps are available in the memory and which of these are uh, reloaded. So you can see here Poco has reloaded the settings. Flipkart is available. So, so as of now all the apps are available in the memory. Let's see, here you can see here games are also available. And final game is Asphalt Unite. So you can see here Asphalt Unite has been reloaded on OnePlus while it has been retained on Poco. So Poco did have a slightly better uh, memory management even the file manager was reloaded on Poco we feel games were retained on Poco while OnePlus did have one app uh, reloaded so that's the memory management next is the speed test uh, uh, of uh, network uh, so you can see here we connect both the devices to the same server let's see the speed So we're getting uh, similar speeds not a major difference next let's see the raw benchmark scores so here we have Snapdragon 8s Gen 3 versus 8s Gen 4 and you can clearly see almost 5 lakh half a million difference 1.4 million versus 2 million so that's the major difference uh, here you can see here the raw benchmark score the GP score is way higher even the memory score and UX score everything is higher on the Snapdragon 8s Gen 4 so that's the differentiating aspect in terms of raw benchmark let's also check the storage test so you can see here 1 lakh 22,000 UFS 3.1 
1.1 while 2,53,000 UFS 4.1. So that's again the differentiating aspect. So hardware wise uh, or raw, raw benchmark wise POCO F7 wins. And finally the Geekbench test. So, so we have uh, done the test here. So here you can see here. Very similar score uh, in terms of single core, while multi core you can actually feel the difference uh, 6500 versus 5004. So that's the uh, benchmark scores, and uh, uh, this is the geek bench. So, already could see here raw benchmark Poco S7 is the winner because it's Snapdragon 8s Gen 4, while uh, Poco is a Snapdragon 8s Gen 3. Now, UFS 3.1 versus UFS 4.1 will also have an impact. Now, software optimization feels uh, pretty good on both the devices. OnePlus did a pretty good job, even with. With a uh, slightly lower uh, performance chip uh, compared to the Poco F7. So that is the performance testing. Uh, so which of these devices will you pick in terms of uh, performance? So do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and don't see it. There are subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.